Inside each of these four painting kits, there are three large tubes of SAA paints and also a guide sheet of how to paint the pictures. But in addition to that, you'll have access to three YouTube videos where you can paint them along with me. Hello, thank you for joining me on this painting demonstration. Uh, my name is Bill Lupton. What I'm painting today is uh, an autumn scene using my autumn kit. It contains three colours specifically chosen for painting autumn scenes. I'm using a 7 by 5 inch piece of Saunders water for 300 grams rough paper. As you can see I wet the sky area first with a clean brush and left some white areas and I'm just dropping in now a very pale mix of the blue to create almost a cloudy looking sky. This is the autumn kit range of colours but I do have a winter kit and I also have a coastal kit and a kit for general paintings. Each contains three colours and again there are three videos associated with each that hopefully will help you create your own masterpiece. Well I mixed a blue colour and add a little bit of red you can see it's almost a, a burgundy colour that I've created and I'm just dropping this in quite pale into the blue sky. While that sky area is still wet, I'm just dropping in a little mix of the red and the gold to create some nice warm trees on the horizon. And you can see the colour spreading into the sky. And again, while that initial paint of trees is still wet, I'm just adding in, adding in a nice pale mix of the gold. And that gives a variety of colour in that horizon. Continuing on while those trees are still wet, I'm just adding a touch of blue in there. It's a medium strength mix along the base. It just gives a shadow effect. Remember it does dry about 30% lighter. And now with a touch of the gold, I'm making sure I touch some of those trees on the underside and allow them to run into this colour. But I'm just flicking across the paper to leave some nice light areas, just to add a little bit of sparkle. Now I've added just a touch of red to that gold, just to warm up the foreground even more. Now with quite a strong mix of the blue and just a touch of the other two colours added, I get this nice dark colour and I start to paint in this tree on the right hand side, along with some grasses which I'll flick up from there. Changing to a rigger brush allows us to get some nice thin branches in there. And still using the rigger brush, with a mix of the gold and the red, I can create some leaves in and around this tree. And this is just a very wet brush dipping in between all the leaves just to spread some of the colour around. It does make it quite pale. Uh, and makes it look as if there's more depth in the tree. And then into that wet area, just dropping in some of the red, it gives it a nice punchy autumn look. And finally on this tree, some dark colours. This is just mainly blue with a touch of the red, just to add some dark shadow in there. Now with the rigger brush, what I've done is mixed some of the gold with the red and just to put some warm grasses in there. And then I will add some dark colour as well and just flick along the top, make it look like as if there's some flowers or buds growing in there. And now with just a very wet rigger brush, it's just got clean water on, just to encourage that colour to run down into this corner. And 
now I can move over to the other side and what I've done here is mix the gold with the yellow but it's not too strong I'm just painting, painting the tree structure and then beneath the tree is a fair bit of the gold paint medium strength and then a bit of yellow in there just to warm up that land and now again just water on the rigger brush really uh, to extend that colour down and then mix a dark colour which is a blue with the gold to create a nice dark edge adding in the leaves to the top of those now just with the gold colour what I'll do when this is on is use the red now and just drop in a little bit more it just provides that extra bit of definition I mixed up quite a dark strong colour now using the blue it's mainly blue with a touch of the gold and I'm painting a, a boundary fence along that land there and then just touching in to darken off the base on this side using the same dark colour just flicking up a few, a few grasses in this foreground area. Well there we go, that's a very simple but effective autumn painting. The scene's painted using colours from my autumn watercolour kit. Uh, I do have also three other kits available, a coastal kit, a winter kit and a general painting kit. They all have three colours in them and they all have three videos associated with them that you can follow along with and hopefully create your own masterpiece. Thank you for looking again and um, hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye for now.